God bless you global Christian friends and Americans around the globe. Let me first give you an understanding. Two understandings. One, knowing what and where for fit and channeling. Knowing what and where for FIT fit and channeling. Now, if you want to be established with God in the top of the mountain and to be exalted above the hills of mankind, to be taught his ways, invite friends over with paper and pen and with their King James Bible to watch and to hear, it would require a lot of replay in what's taking place here. Uh, good seed, good wheat, good seed, good fruit. Everyone across the globe ought to be able to say that. Good seed, good wheat, good seed, good fruit. Think about it. To design a single steer that can produce solar winds with millions miles per hour thrust. and that there are billions far greater and are more powerful than the sun. And I think you can understand God from this as Lord of hosts. Think about that statement. Sun able to produce winds gusts a million miles per hour, one body. And yet the sun is so small compared to other luminous bodies across the heavens, across the cosmos, across the universe, across space, and uh, across time. Now, we are going to look at that parable of Jesus, that short parable in the 13th chapter, uh, uh, before he went into the house. Uh, we've gone before on the one about uh, the good seed, now the one in 1333. The kingdom of heaven is like unto leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of wheat till the whole was leaven. Now, very short. There may be some shorter parables about the kingdom of heaven. We'll get into that. God said the same. But I want to read uh, further down in verse 34, 1334, right on down before we get to the next one. All these things spoke Jesus unto the multitude in parables. We know why. He said so. Ah. Uh, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, saying, I will open my mouth in parables, proverbs. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundations of the world. They are being revealed right now. Right now, they are being revealed. 
Then sent Jesus the multitude away, which we said before, and went into the house. And the disciples came to him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tares of the field. You know the tares of the field it gave that already, that parable about the wheat, verse 26, when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. What do they want to know? They want to know that when we began to go into the ministry and we began to be fruitful, well, Jesus done told them already, uh, you're going to have troubles, uh, you're going to have persecutions because you don't rightly know how to use the power of God uh, the way that you need to. But they are concerned here about the tares. We said before, if there are 30 bundles of tares, make sure you cast 30 bundles into the fire. Count them. Count the bundle of tares that make sure that None is left behind. Uh, count them to make sure that if you uh, compile 30 bundles, you burn 30 bundles. And leave nothing there for the tares. But they wanted to know, declare unto us the parable of the tares of the Field. They're looking into their works in the ministry. When they began their work in the ministry, they want to know what's going to crop up when we become fruitful in our works that you are going to again send us, send us to do. You know he has sent them already in the 10th chapter, because the 10th chapter uh, lets you know what happened. It said, I'll just begin, I won't read the whole thing, but beginning, chapter 10, verse 1, and when he called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits. He cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of diseases. And you out there, pay attention, listen, you're sick, you ought to be healed. You ought to be well. Don't claim it. You won't own it. All right, what did I say out there? Don't claim it. You won't own it. All right, a lot of you claim it. That's why you own it. It becomes yours. You claim sickness, you own sickness. All right, but power not only... Uh, against unclean spirits to cast them out. But Luke 10, 19, power over all the power of the enemy. God bless you, global Christian friends. God bless Americans around the world. Until next time, amen.